Okay, uh, so we're gonna try and do a video up on dump exposed. So similar to coal exposed, basically reporting out when a dump is available. Um, this is the first pass video, I haven't done a pre-run. Um, I will do a pre-run if I figure out that I've made a mistake and need to do it again. All right, so uh, basically what we need to do is generate a destination path that very, very uh, quickly dumps in a very, very small amount of dirt. Uh, and so the trick to doing dump exposed is you generate a single uh, line. You've got allow advanced, don't ever type it in. I always type it in, it's just old habits. And then just a very, 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 very small percentage or a very, very, very small number. Um, either of those are going to do the job. So for example, equals 0.0001. Uh, and what that's going to do is generate a very small amount of uh, dump. Let's see in here, uh, it's going to generate a very, very small amount of dump, uh, but it but it won't break rules. So um, the other thing you're going to need to make do if you make sure you want to do if you if you do use this system is you need to change all of the priorities. Um, now, basically, changing all the priorities up by one. I mean, it's weird to use the terminology up, but to increase the number, go from one to two, make it a lower priority, just to make sure that basically what will happen is every opportunity that this has to dump something, it will, but it'll only dump you know, a, a cubic millimeter. And that will then give you something that you can report out. So I'm just gonna run my schedule briefly uh, to show you what that. And so what you do here now is you go to your post schedule tasks and you may already have uh, a destination post schedule task. I don't know what the state of this model is at the moment. Uh, we don't have one, so we're gonna create a, a couple of post schedule tasks here. We're gonna create an exposed date. And we're also gonna create a first real touch. And I'm just gonna call it real for the purposes of, of hammering this home with a, uh, a sledgehammer, but in reality, uh, it doesn't, you can just call it first touch. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is create the post schedule task. I'll create a new one. Uh, the run condition, look, there's only, uh, there's only point, uh, a point in doing this if you're running destination scheduling, so you can treat that separately. And we're gonna have two entries here. The first one is gonna be exposed date. And the second one is going to be first real touch. Uh, the field that we're writing to should be pretty clear. Processes, don't care. Equipment, don't care. Because it's a dump table, um, whatever dumps in there is gonna be okay. Uh, and then the value expression. So in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the minimum Or the first, first is also an option that they mean the same thing. Uh, first and minimum in this example, because it's a date, first and minimum mean the same thing. Uh, we're gonna go with the start date. And we're gonna put that in both, uh, but we're gonna make one slight adjustment to the filter expression. So the filter expression is going to make sure that we're dumping you know, a, a decent amount of, 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 of data, a decent amount of destination quantity. So we're just gonna grab in and grab the destination quantity. And I'm just gonna make sure it's greater than like 0 0.01, uh, actually for the, uh, for the first real touch. So going back to my destination path, um, I'm only dumping in a cubic, I wanna say millimeter, something like that. Uh, but in the example that I've put up, I'm only doing a cubic centimeter. So basically what that's meaning is that the dates shouldn't come through. Now this is basically, I've never done this before, but I assume this will work. Uh, so let's have a look and see what comes out. So if we look at alpha add a pit, All right, so it's exposed immediately, but not dumped into until the seventh. Let's see if that's how it plays out. Uh, so on the animation, let's pick that record that I selected. To show that on the screen, probably the wrong place to put it, not the source, the destination. Uh, that one over there. Okay, so that's the record there. Uh, at the start of the schedule, it's not dumped into. A few days later, on the 7th, we fill it in. So even though on the 1st, 
we get an, a date of exposure, uh, we actually don't really start touching it until the 7th. Now this will give you a few extra uh, output lines in your schedule, uh, but you will still get an accurate um, you know, exposure date. You'll see that you don't get this class as exposed until after the uh, dump date of the record below. So this worked as I would expect it, which means I don't have to record it a second time, which is great. Um, I hope that's helpful and uh, I'll leave it at that.